What up, David? Day the whole seven here. Topless time again. Today we're going over what I consider to be the top five best villain songs, at least in my opinion. And so, anyhow, if you don't agree, please don't be rude. In fact, I would love to see what yours would be. Anyhow, let's begin. Number five, Cruella de Vil. Now this song, now this song may not be sang by the villain or any henchman, but it is sang by one of the main characters of the show who's making up a song about what, basically what she think, what he thinks of her. Now while this one is, well this one is, has the absolute catchy tune, it's, it's very, it's very memorable, Olin has one, it has probably the most accurate depiction of the character, or so, so anyhow, anyway, let's move on. Number four, greatest criminal mind, I mean, from The Great Mouse Detective. Uh, another underrated Disney classic. Now, greatest criminal mind is, again, not saying by the villain, but, what's, well, it is saying somewhat by him. It's mostly saying by his by his henchman, who now now Radigan is probably one of the most underrated Disney villains. In fact, in fact, he is probably one of the well, not not enough to make my most evil list. He definitely is one of the more creative, a little bit more intelligent, and really thinks his plans out pretty good. Now this song is was as it's more of a childhood favorite in my opinion because I absolutely love this movie I love and the and the song behind this just just it's catchy you kind of get the feeling of what on what this guy is all about and it's really memorable and it's and it's replayable well, so anyway, let's move on. Number three, Friends on the Other Side from Princess and the Frog. Now, while the movie is not one of my personal favorites, in fact, I don't think it was, it's enough to make my favorite Disney movies list, Dr. Facilier is definitely probably one of the most, well, it's probably one of the most memorable villains from that from any Disney movie. So if you don't know who Dr. Facilier is, he's a witch doctor of all things, I'm guessing. And I can tell you this song on the vibe you get from it is actually the and the weird vibe you get from this song is utterly amazing. In fact this song includes near the end of the song what I consider to be the most trippiest of of imagery from that I've ever seen in a Disney movie. And I mean the most trippy. Number two, Hellfire from Huntsback of Notre Dame. Now this on this one the you get the most dark vibe from the song. While Claude Frollo is is quite mostly what I could basically I consider to be the most evil Disney villain Disney has ever made. Aid this song, he's basically trying to choose whether whether he wants to execute es Esmeralda or make him his own, make her his own. Own, but the whole vibe of the song is very dark. In fact. In fact, it's probably the most chilling out of any of them, and that's what makes it really good. And and it fits 
Frollo's personality perfectly. Anyhow, all right, and number one, Oogie Boogie's song. Now, I know some people may say, why do you pick this for number one? In all honesty, in my opinion, this has everything catchy tune. Oh, tune. Tune replayable. And some of the most. Most amazing music you'd ever hear. And while. And while Nightmare Before Christmas. While it is good. I. There are some parts of the. I only like parts of the movie. The other I find a little bit bland. But. Again that's my opinion. But this song makes it all worthwhile. In fact it's probably. The most if not the. The catchiest song, in my opinion, for a villain, has everything. The visually is is dark, but yet colorful. Oh, you get the you get that chilling vibe. Even you. In fact, when I first heard the song, I could not stop listening to it. In fact, if you and if you haven't heard the song, I recommend you. This is one I definitely recommend you check out. So anyway, that's all for now. Like, subscribe, favorite, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.